needed to become an important part of my um, art too, my art practice. So um, this is all the art on the website is either photographs or paintings or drawings that I, I've done over time. And so um, we were talking about gardening. So I will go directly to the art and herbs section. So yeah, I've been um, growing since I guess the mid, like maybe 2007 in my yard. I live in Maryland, in Clinton, Maryland. We started by having a sewage problem and they dug up the garden and I was like, oh, I could plant where this is. And it's just grown since then. It used to be a kitchen garden, but now it's a medicinal plant garden with a little bit of food in it. Um, these are some pictures um, from this year's um, growing. And so what happened was I started to create, this will be my second year, I'm coming into my second year, a wellness kit that are um, plants, uh, products created from plants that I grow in my gratitude garden. And so they are, um, let's see here, I, each kit has art in it. And the first year I made um, handmade paper with the fibers that were left in the annual plants um, and then um, created paintings, uh, mixed media pieces on the handmade paper from the natural fibers and dyes from the garden. And um, then also, you know, there's salves and hydrosol, as you can see here, sanitizer, everything with the base products are sustainably grown in Gratitude Garden. It's organic, but not certified organic. And so, um, you know, I'm really experimenting with um, seasonings and medicine and then personal care products and then the art. And I just do a twice a year wellness kit and um, where I make art and also the herb products. So that's what's happening here in the garden. We had a summer kit and yeah, here's my garden. I live in a suburban neighborhood and everything's planted in um, raised beds so that I can keep control over the wellness of the soil. And uh, that's basically it. I mean, the gar the I have a blog that talks about the garden. Um, every month I do a blog, which I would love for y'all to um, come and share. This was the garden spirit stick for the summer kits. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I only make, I make like 50 kits and that's what my garden can sustain. And um, when they're gone, they're gone. So <laughs> we're just now getting ready for the holiday season and encouraging people to, um, you know, order early because of the postal system. Last year, it was a mess with the post office and I don't really want to use UPS or anything. I'd like to support the postal service. So I'm asking for people to um, order soon so that we can send it to you and you have it for the holidays. And what I noticed last year was that a lot of people, they want to begin or continue to uh, use the medicine and magic really that plants offer for our wellness, but don't really understand how to do it. Like a, several of the people who ordered my kits last year got them and then didn't really understand how to use the products. So this year I'm doing a lot of more education. I'm doing some videos and so that people can come on the merry journey of becoming friends with plants and allowing them to help you um, with your wellness. Um, so, so is that good, Alpha? You done with me?
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready to move on. I mean, you know. <laughs> I think it's That's ideal awesome. conversation because one of our breakout rooms we're dealing with the heart circle and Carol was a facilitator for that um, when we first began the cafe. So, you know, these are things that I think we can um, put over in that section, you know, next year in 2022 so that um, Carol could talk more about um, her um, practice, social and environmental justice art practice. So, thank yes. you, Carol. All right, you're welcome. Thanks for listening. I'll put I'll put my website in the chat. <laughs> and if anyone has any questions about about it, please feel free to contact me through the chat or just reach out to me. I mean, we have so much beautiful plants that are there and want to share their medicine with us. So, if you're interested, just let me know. I just want to say congratulations, uh, awesome idea. I have often thought about what to do with my excess surplus. Mm -hmm. um, tomatoes, it's a little harder, you can't do a kit, but my <laughs> backyard garden, I'm like, what am I gonna do with all this stuff? Well, so. Kayla, there's also, I didn't mention, but I actually, because it, everything is so abundant, you know, and, um, this year actually the plants seemed like they were on steroids everything was so flowering and fruiting and you know just beautiful and what i did with my extra was to give it to a local mutual aid a lot of uh, most towns and cities have herbal mutual aid and and they're really giving that medicine to people who are working on the front lines in our communities People work at um, food banks, you know, they'll go to a food bank and do gifting and stuff like that. So that's another thing you could find a um, mutual aid and support the work that they're doing. Yeah, thanks. I had some tomatoes that came from nowhere <laughs> and produced hundreds and <laughs> hundreds of grape, yellow grape tomatoes, really <gasps> sweet. They were in, they were growing all over. And so I went, well, I can't, I was giving them away. I was just packing them up and giving them away. But I discovered that you can actually easily freeze them. Mm -hmm. And so I've got a whole big bag of these, you know, to make a sauce later on or whatever. But mm -hmm. <laughs> like, wow, this is so cool. All these <laughs> Tomatoes. volunteers they just volunteered to they be really did you. they wanted to be there and i was like okay <laughs> i love those sun gold i think i bet you they were they're so sweet they, they were just you know how some of them eh, don't eat, have much of a flavor or you know i don't care for the taste so much but these were just so sweet and so good really great that's the difference between a genetically modified tomato oh. and an heirloom tomato, you know? <laughs> yep. I only buy heirloom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What I did with my extra tomatoes, put them in the oven with a little bit of olive oil and garden garlic and roasted them and then mm. froze them for soups and oh, stews in yeah. the winter. Yeah. 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 Oh. Mm. <laughs> So it's my joy and I'm happy. It's funny, I've been on these in the cafe for a few months now, but now I'm looking at y'all ladies differently, you plant loving women. Yep. I'm happy to know that about y'all. I have a different level in which to um, relate with you and I appreciate that. So thanks and for Carol, I making used that. To, I used to plant, I have two planters on the side of my house and they turned into weeds and whatever else is in them. Um, but, you know, sometimes I think about building them up because right now they're too low to the ground for me as I've gotten older. And mm -hmm. I was thinking about building them up higher, to, mm -hmm. you know, like where, I don't know, my waist is or something. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, I, I think I can manage that. Yeah, that would yeah, be great. Calvary. You can purchase those. I actually bought two of them. They're expensive, however, but 
they're like veg trucks or trunks or something like that. Mm. And they're, they stand up on legs. <coughs> they're, you know, they're the perfect height and I grow lettuce in them. As a matter of fact, I've got new lettuce growing for some reason right now here in Chicago. I don't yeah, know. They like cold weather. Yeah, yeah apparently. <laughs> lettuce, kale, spinach. Oh, I should put this some kale on there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and Talver, um, before you ditch those weeds, you should try to identify what they are because they might be of benefit to you for tea or something. You know, they, they probably have some medicinal qualities. Well, um, you know, I believe that all the little rodents probably have, you know, peed on them or whatever. <laughs> So I think for me, I need to have that whole dirt taken out and put new dirt in, raise them up, you know, because I, I have a little bunny in my yard. I have tons of squirrels and now I'm seeing a few little cats and the neighbors have chickens. So, you know, it's kind of like, mm, that dirt needs to come out, new dirt put in. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't. It's know. funny because we don't know what what goes on in the farms where they grow <laughs> the food you get at the grocery store. Right. right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. Yeah. <laughs> true. 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 Yeah. No worries, Talver. <laughs> <laughs> so Talver has. Good. <laughs> Chopper has a project that she's working on and developing there in Sacramento and it's an exhibit so I don't know if she wants to take that time to share well um Shona we all um know Shona I miss her very much um she's such a busy lady um <clears throat> she's um putting on a show an art show on multi-dimensions um, in March of 22. And part of that is um, talking about the black female um, hair, health and body. And so um, I talked to Shona and I said, you know, I would like to help out with it. So she said, um, you know, could you coordinate one of the exhibits? And I said, of course. And I chose the um, the body. <clears throat> so I I thought about um, since I'm responsible for that part of the show, I would like to um, put together an invitational um, to artists call to artists invitational, um, so that we won't be overwhelmed with a you know. <clears throat> a lot of people wanting to put their artwork in because there's not just enough room um, to accommodate, um, you know, not a whole lot of art, but art that um, can fit nicely into that particular area that she has available for it. So um, that's my whole idea. And um, I can take um, recommendations, absolutely, um, in terms of artists. And I know that, that art in Sacramento is, is you know, much easier to obtain. But then when you're talking about art <coughs> outside of Sacramento, California, then you're looking at shipping your work and all of that. And so I don't know, it, you, you know, if you're interested in participating, just email me um, <clears throat> and let me know. Uh, but the, the, the whole idea is to, to illuminate and highlight the African-American female and her body. So my daughter, I was talking to my daughter and um, she's not an artist. Um, <clears throat> and she said, mom, I was doodling. I show you my doodle. And oh my God, I was just so fascinated by her, um, her little illustration. 
and it says naturally made. And then there's a, a, a just a, a rude drawing of a female body. It's just so beautiful to me. So I said, you know, um, I would like for possi possibly that to be the logo on the flyer and the poster, um, naturally made. So um, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So anyone has suggestions or recommendations for artists? So. Well, there's four yeah. artists on the call right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, absolutely. So um, send me um, your information and um, yeah, we can definitely move from there. <clears throat> I really haven't solidified it yet. Um, my thoughts are that probably over the, the um, Thanksgiving vacation, because I teach, I would like to take the time to sit down and um, kind of, um, you know, try to pull in all of the strings so that I can mentally and visually um, have a sense of how the, um, the show will materialize. So, yeah. Well, I invite all of you to send your information. Yeah. So um, maybe if you put your uh, contact information in the chat, then we all mm -hmm. have it. Absolutely. Thanks. Yeah. I will do that. <clears throat> well, I put the information in the chat for Lauren Laurie, and that was for uh, Laura and uh, Kayla. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to take a look, she has a podcast that's happening at noon, so I'm um, she's gonna be able to join us today. But um in terms of you know you know the conversation with her um she's looking at uh Chicago real estate and uh Chicago black history and Chicago Chicago politics and she just started hosting these podcasts and um I'll send you the link or forward you the link to her podcast if you ever want to listen and talk with her but i think it's important to have somebody in the in the conversation that is actually looking and has a portfolio of you know buildings and commercial real estate and they're in that world that you guys are in <laughs> and um i also posted um where her she's an archivist uh, for the dance music um, um found the foundation so and I remember she was featured artist when we were doing Chicago Artist Month she was a featured artist at that time for her archive and mm -hmm. uh, I know we're talking about archiving our work that we're doing with the um, Phantom Gallery so you know it's a she started working with um uh, KNUR.org uh, and 89.3 FM on Vintage House um, podcast and out at North, uh, Western, actually Northwestern University. You guys are over here talking about plants and garlic. <laughs> I know, it's looking like we may need to do a whole special session. We need a breakout room that's garden questions. That's mentors. Or you can do the garden questions now. I use a lot of garlic. <laughs> a lot of garlic. I love garlic. Oh, yeah, she was just saying too. you can plant it now in the ground. You must. I saw that. Yeah. I, I will be doing that. <laughs> Trust me. Good. Put it six inches apart, about mm -hmm. two, three inches down, the pointy end up. And once the ground gets, um, once it gets kind of frozen and hard, then you want to put um, mulch or straw or something over it to kind of protect it. Mm -hmm. But you need, it needs kind of the sun to get 
started, but November is the perfect time to plant it. Oh, okay. I will I, I took, give that a whirl. Yeah, I took an old tomato that was in my refrigerator. Not a tomato, but an onion. And I just stuffed it, pushed it in the... Um, the, the uh, container I have, st I started a rose bush. Can you believe it? And it bloomed two or three roses. I started it from scratch, you know, putting the um, growth hormone on it. So anyway, I put that onion into that pot. My God, it's like, rawr, rawr. so I'm excited about that onion. Cool. I go and pick off the chai part of it. Yeah, so. It's so amazing to plant seeds and watch them grow. I mean, for me, it's so grounded.